whether it's full size or 1 64th scale. There's something about trains. Most people have a draw to it. Most people are mesmerized a little bit by it. The undeniable queen of steam is the Class J611. It's design, um, it's power, it's, it's personality. Uh, 5,200 horsepower, um, high pressure boiler, and it'll run over 100 miles an hour. The spirit of Roanoke, seeing her in person, is impressive. There's a certain mystique that goes with these. Um, it's, it's really something special. Riding the rails under her power, for many, that's a chance of a lifetime. She's a beauty. She's a gem. For James Powell and his son Henry, a trip from Newton Conover to Spencer, North Carolina to climb up into the cab was too good to pass up. This one here? Yeah. I was in the fireman's seat for that ride, stoking the fire and adding water to create the steam. And for the brief 10 minutes, it was... Awesome. <laughs> Better than awesome. We even got dirty, didn't we? Yep. <laughs> Shortly after our visit to Spencer, the 611 returned home to Roanoke, where she's on display at the Virginia Museum of Transportation. She also makes trips along the rails at the Augusta County Railroad Club and Museum at the Stanton Mall, at least in scale model form. Oh, I don't have room for the real thing. <laughs> Lundy Pence has been a rail fan since his youth, but fell in love with the 611 back in 1992 when he got on board the restored locomotive in Roanoke and took an excursion with his baby daughter. And uh, since then, I've built about four models of her. Linda Down is a member of the Augusta County Railroad Club and has been a fan of trains since she received a Lionel set for Christmas when she was young. And I keep on saying no more, because I've got quite a few. And every time you look in the magazine, there's a new train coming out. Her collection is one of many running weekly at the Augusta County Railroad Club. There's a track for each scale. And the collections and technology on display are impressive. Although the 611 did not power through the Shenandoah Valley, plenty of other steam locomotives did. People from New York, Philadelphia, and so forth could come and see the uh, beautiful Luray Caverns. The Page Valley Rail Historical Society is in the process of restoring the past for the public. So that they won't forget that there used to be steam engines going up and down this particular line. The Page Valley Railroad Club formed in 1999. It was instrumental in the full restoration of the old Luray Depot building, which now houses the town's visitor center, in addition to the museum. The intricate train set inside took two years to build and should feel familiar to local visitors. The layout actually represents the entire county. The history of rail in many respects is the history of the valley over the past 150 years. They could travel. You could go see places where you've never seen before. Whether it's through the local clubs or the worldwide multi-million dollar fundraising effort to restore the 611, it takes a special effort to bring those memories to life today. You see the little kids, or you see the, the older fellas, or the older people that might remember when steam ran, and bringing back the memories and talking to them. That, that's what makes it payday. That's what makes it worthwhile to do. Bob Greeby, WHSV.